Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Robert's Sports Show. I'm your host, Robert. The NXT TakeOver London, England show, getting off WWE Network. Um, wow, what an amazing show. Uh, only five matches, but it was five very good matches. Uh, two Divas matches that were extremely great. Um, just really nothing bad on the card over at all. Uh, WWE needs to take a look at what the show the NXT guys and gals put on and maybe the main roster needs to step it up a little bit. Uh, first match we had Asuka versus Emma. For my first look at Asuka, uh, wow, what an incredible, incredible uh, wrestler she is. Uh, the crowd was just hot as can be. It started off hot for this match. She is so over. I mean, they were chanting with her and stuff. And just amazing how Asuka coming from New Japan Pro Wrestling and coming to the NXT WWE environment, how you can keep your, you know, kind of the indie kind of style, but go out and wrestle in WWE Arena with an Emma who is a very, very talented young lady. Uh, these two divas go, go out and put on, went out and put on a four-star match in my, in my book. Understanding where the divas division is in WWE, where it came from in NXT, and seeing the next generation of that, you know, going through this divas revolution. For years to come, these diva matches going forward will be epic, such as this one. Uh, Asuka getting a win, almost it was bad because Dana Burke was out there, you know, out there with Emma. Dana ended up throwing a thing like a chain in the ring. Well, Emma went to hit Asuka with it. Asuka grabbed it, stopped her. Of course, when the referee turns around, Asuka's holding it, and everybody, you know, Dana and Emma are pointing at her like she's going to do something. Luckily, the referee didn't call for the DQ right there. Thank God, because that would have ruined this match. And they let the match continue. Uh, she gets the victory. Uh, hopefully, going forward, Asuka and possibly Bailey for the next, you know, Bailey and or Nia Jax, whoever wins the Divas title title match, that'd be a hell of a title match. For the next takeover, uh, just unbelievable, talented four star match. Asuka getting the victory. Next, with NXT Tag Titles on the line, we have Champion Dash Wilder and Scott Dawson versus. Um, Enzo Amore and Colin Cassidy, uh, Enzo and Kaz, a uh, great tag team both of these are, uh, Enzo and Kaz, kind of the first generation NXT tag team, they've been, for, been, been there from the beginning, uh, Wilder Dawson looked good, uh, this was a really good match, you know, coming off of what the WWE did at uh, TLC in that ladder match for the tag titles, you're hoping you know, even though it's NXT, you're hoping the tag team would follow that, what the big, what uh, New Day and Lucha and uh, Usos did and put on a quality match, which they did. Uh, did not disappoint at all. I give it three and three quarter star. Uh, borderline four star match, again, on this card. Uh, retained by Dash Wilder and Scott Dawson. Uh, I really like the team of, of um, Enzo and Kaz. I like, like the... Big guy, little guy type tag team. Uh, very talented tag team. Both these teams are. Uh, so we had a retain by Wilder and Dawson. Next we had Apollo Crews and Baron Corbin. Um, the ability that I've seen out of Apollo Crews, just you know the fact that he can do a standing moonsault and the drop kicks and just the high flying stuff he can do. If you can get a more or finish up his uh, wrestling set for say he's a more talented Roman Reigns so, you know he's size wise about Roman Reigns size Bobby Lashley Roman Reigns type with more talent uh, I was looking forward to this match I really wanted to see what he can do with the bigger Baron Corbin uh, they worked fairly well together uh, Baron Corbin ended up getting the victory which was kind of a funny moment early on in the match uh, Corbin throws Cruz on the outside and Baron Corbin by the announcers you can dead hear this he looks down at him and goes why don't you go back to Ring of Honor? Why don't you go back to the States? I'm like, whoa, why are you throwing Ring of Honor out there when Apollo Crews never wrestled in Ring of Honor? I thought that was very random by Barry Corbin to say. Uh, I ended up giving this three and a half stars. Um, 
Neither guy to me are, are polished enough to go above that for me. This match was good, don't get me wrong, but it wasn't beyond good for me. Uh, next with the NXT Women's Title on the line, we had Champion Bailey versus Nia Jax. Or Nia Jax. In the preview, I said that she's only there because she's a Rock's cousin. Um, I had never even laid eyes on her until this show. Uh, does she have talent? Yeah, she does. Does she fit in with what the WWE Divas and NXT Divas are? No, she's completely different than them, but that's good. That's what makes her stand out. She's bigger, she's more powerful, she's kind of... I guess TNA's version, or TNA had Awesome Kong, Amazing Kong, and you know, that style, kind of a brute, kind of go out there and just kick your ass, and oh well type, which I think really blended well with the uh, Bailey of the world, and you know, some of the divas like Asuka and Emma and stuff. But before this match, they interviewed Ni Nia Jax backstage. Um, obviously, being the Rock's cousin, she does have some mic skills. She still needs to be polished, obviously. Fairly new to wrestling. Debuted in May. So she's six months into her wrestling career. Uh, so take that with you what you want. She did this little hard... It was kind of trying to be a fucking hard ass. And it was coming off not as hard as she was trying to be. And she's like, what are you staring at? And turned the camera and it's Asuka just staring at her and grinning. I'm like, okay. Asuka is my new favorite diva. So that's cool. <laughs> Uh, Bailey just, oh my god, the heart that this girl has, uh, just amazing how no matter what Nyla Jax threw at her, she took it and gave back. She ended up retaining her NXT Women's title by submission. I give this three and three quarter stars. It was close to a four star match to me. It was just amazing, amazing. Uh, so Bailey retained retain the NXT Women's title. Next, with the NXT Championship line the line, we had champion Finn Balor versus Samoan Submission Machine Samoa Joe. A 10 year friendship by Balor and Joe thrown away because Joe attacked Balor all because of the NXT Championship. Uh, when the Dustin Ro Dusty Rhodes Memorial Tag Team Tournament began, Balor and Joe, because of their history, because of their friendship, tagged together, won the tournament. Joe wanted the title shot. Balor granted it to him, but General Manager William Regal's like, no, I don't think so. So Joe took matters in his own hands, went after Balor, went after the NXT Championship. A very quality match. Both guys just gave it their all. I gave it four stars. No one, like I said in the preview, I knew it was going to be good. No one, Samoa Joe, seeing him in Ring of Honor, seeing him in TNA, knowing how good this guy is, one of my favorite wrestlers of all time, knowing how good Finn Balor can be, like I said in the preview, he's not polished enough for WWE yet, in my opinion. He's getting there. We have... Still, NXT Champion Finn Balor. Like I said in the preview, Joe did not need to win this. He needs to move up to the main roster. He needs to debut at Royal Rumble I, in, my, in my book. He needs to get his WWE career on track, on board, and go. Finn Balor, stick with NXT as NXT Champion. Maybe Baron Corbin or Apollo Crews. Or a list of guys who could go up against James Storm, maybe bring in AJ Styles, Berkeley. There's plenty of guys out there that with NXT that could go against Balor and guys outside NXT could come in. So, very quality match. A great show. WWE needs to look at their NXT brand and see how great these shows are and get the main roster up to snuff. Now we'll wrap up the 2015 NXT TakeOver in London show pre review. As always, thanks for watching Robert Sports Show and have a spiffy night. Robert Sports Show, your YouTube leader in sports channels. Go! If you close your eyes, your life, and if you truth reveal, since you never lived in scars, never healed. In the darkness, life will take you to the other side. Find me where